there's a new action in Tasker called variable map. This action takes an input range and an output range and converts one to the other. So we have a minimum input and a maximum, and then an also an output, minimum and maximum, and then it converts from one to the other. Let's look at some examples. In this task, I have I want to convert Fahrenheit degrees to Celsius degrees. So I, if I consult a website and, and check that when the Fahrenheit value is zero, you can convert that to a value of uh, minus 17.7777 Celsius. And when Fahrenheit is 100, that corresponds to this value in Celsius. So by simply inputting these four values here, the input range and the output range, it'll convert any value from this range into this range. So for example, if I set Fahrenheit to 75 and put it through the variable map, I get back 23.889. If I set Fahrenheit to, let's say, 50, I get back 10. So I can very easily convert from one range to the other range. This can be useful, for example, for sliders. I have this, sh uh, this slider here that executes this task when the value changes. So just to test it out, I've set a value of 50 to, um, to simulate putting the slider at, at the middle mark, it's 50, and the slider goes to zero to, uh, from, let's just show it. Oh, sorry, Need to enable this. Okay, so there's a slider here that goes from zero minimum to 100 maximum. And when I change that value, this task runs. So in this example, I just set it to 50 manually just to, to test it out. And what this does is it gets the, um, the, the, the duration of a track from the playing music uh, app and then converts it with a map. So I have the input range of zero, which is here, and to 100. And then I want the output, which is zero, so the start of the track, to the duration of the track. So we'll convert from zero to 100 to zero to whatever the, 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 the duration of the track is. And so, I have, I, I end up with the corresponding value in seconds to the length of the track. So let's try it out. If I start playing something <clears throat> and then change the, the slider here to a certain position, remember the slider is from 0 to 100 it'll convert this range, 0 to 100, to whatever range the track it is. So 0 to number of seconds in the track, and use the correct value there. And as a final example, let's just show the, uh, destroy this scene. No, not delete it, destroy it. And then, as a final example, let's say you want to control uh, an air conditioner based on the outside temperature. So, logically, you want to, the, to put the air conditioner at a lower temperature when it's hotter outside and at a, a higher temperature when it's cold outside, right? So, for that, we'll use this invert option in the variable map action. As, as before, we set the outside temperature man, minimum and maximum, so let's say 15 and 35 Celsius, and the, the minimum, minimum temperature for the, air or for the air conditioner will be 21 and the maximum will be 25. But we want to say that when, the, when it's cold outside, so for example 15, you want it to be 25 in the air conditioner. We want the air conditioner to output 25. 
So using the invert, it'll convert this range to this range, but invert it. So for example, if the outside temperature is 35, the AC will be set to, to 21. And if the outside temperature is 15, the AC will be 25. And you may have noticed that I've enabled this restrict range option because I never want the AC to output less than 21 and more than 25. So for example, if the outside temperature is zero, I still want the AC at 25, not at some higher value. And likewise, if the outside temperature is like 40, the minimum AC ver uh, temperature will always be 21. So there you go. With the variable map action, you can convert one range to another range and have these extra options here that are very, very handy to convert values from one to the other. Just so you know, this was adapted or straight up copied from the Switch game called Game Builder Garage which has the exact same uh, map node on with the exact same options as you see here. I thought it was a very handy tool to have in the game builder. So, and it very appropriately converted to a task action as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.